All right, so we're back. Um, after a couple of, uh, about a minute or so, we, this uh, report just generated. Um, these are all the local um, businesses around in Elmont. So um, what we're gonna do is here, it says, okay, it has email NAP, which is a name, address, and phone number, and if it's claimed or not. Um, category plumber, uh, this is business hours, images, how many images they have, images quality, um, do they have 360 degree view on, do they take payments over the phone, do they have any reviews, uh, what about feedbacks, um, and let's see what it says. So um, we're going to click this one, the first one, see what happens. All right. So we've analyzed, it says, okay, na uh, name, address, phone number is critical. Okay, so this one is good. Um, let's see if this uh, is claimed or not. And give me one second, we're gonna find out right here. Um, I'm gonna copy that. And here we go, okay. See, this one is not claimed. Perfect example, right? So Almont, this is right here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, claim this business. Okay, now I won't be able to verify this business because obviously I'm not the owner and uh, this is just for tutorial purposes only. So we are just going to um, do a demo test. Basically, I'll show you exactly what needs to be done and how it needs to be done. Um, so we're going to go to manage now. We're going to log in with our Gmail account, right? Um, now you're going to get this, right? Uh, Google uh, verifies your business through uh, usually two methods. One of them is a phone number. So they would call you and they'll give you like a six digit number that you have to repeat back or plug in into the website. Um, or the, and now I think, I believe they have changed their verification from phone numbers to direct mail to your physical location of the business address. So um, choose a way to verify. So um, what we're gonna do is basically, um, we're gonna verify it, we're gonna click uh, to verify. Now this business over here is gonna get a uh, postcard in the mail in about five days. So I'm definitely gonna reach out to this client and uh, tell them that they, you know, they should be expecting it and hopefully that'll lead into a sale or conversion. Okay, so we're in. Now this is the first logo that you'll see. Um, it says stay connected. Uh, Google is, uh, Google My Business gives you a whole different platform where you can manage your business, you know, how it virtually looks on its uh, listings. Um, so this is, it gives you kind of somewhat of a control over your business listing. So we're gonna go over here, home, right? And we're gonna put all this information in. It says complete your listing, right? It goes add hours. So let's say, um, obviously uh, this is not gonna go live on the on the uh, on this uh, person's business. Uh, I'm on plumbing and heating because uh, we have to again verify the information. So this is all just uh, um, dummy com dummy uh, content that we're just gonna go and. Um, and see how that happens. Okay, so basically you wanna fill out all your hours over here, um, what time you're open, what time you close, 12 a.m. to 12, 24 hours, let's say for example, all right? And you just wanna plug all that information in. The more information you give about uh, to, your, to the business, the more uh, Google will uh, help you out getting it ranked. So now you're open 24 hours. Um, you could change your name here right um, customers will see your edits after they've been reviewed so if you like get verified okay so you're gonna get verified um, these are categories so you want to add multiple categories okay this is a little tip so if you're doing plumber right and you do also like let's say um, you do a little bit of a, a you know, plumbing for you know air conditioners or um, plumbing or something like that or you do um, you know, emergency, uh, emergency, basically water removal or whatever you want to do, right? You can add additional categories. So you can do air conditioning, repair, contractor service. So the more, again, right? So if anybody's looking, you want to cross, um, 
across multiple industries within uh, multiple uh, across multiple niches within your industry, so you could get more of a, a standing and upranking uh, effort, right? So obviously, this that's great. And then you want to go there, boom, you apply it, and so now it's just it's under review. So obviously, you know, with the more uh, once it's verified, you know, we'll do air conditioning. Let me just go ahead and do that again. Okay. So um, now basically what you could do, you could edit your phone number here, right? Your website here, info is here, right? So let's, uh, let's get their information from their website if it's uh, available. Yep, there, great, okay. So now we have all our information. They have a, a specialized drain work. Perfect, right? So what now we do is we're just going to plug all this information that they already gave us into the thing. Now, if your client does not have a website, you can uh, Google My Business can help you uh, create one, and we'll get that. We'll get down to that uh, a little further down in the tutorial. Um, Okay, so basically, um, this is a more information that you could do. You could put your, uh, uh, let's go back over here. You could add special hours. So if you were in, in, you know, during the COVID pandemic time, if you had different hours, you could always put that in there. Um, uh, what you call it? Your phone number. Make sure your phone number is consistent across all, um, all your platforms, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you are, right? So you just have the same number across all platforms. Um, Appointment links, basically, if you have a um, uh, like a s appointment scheduling system, right? Again, okay. Now here is a great thing, right? Products, right? So let's say um, so we, you want to optimize these uh, ad product categories, okay? So you could do let's say um, emergency product name is emergency drain um, cleaning, right? You want to put optimized uh, pictures over here. Um, let's go to pixels. Okay. Go drain. All right. This looks image looks good. All right. Oh. That was good, but that was probably paid. Yeah. See. Okay. Um, drain. Just for the time's sake, we'll just uh, use any one right now. Uh, let's take a look one more time. Cloning. Okay. Um, tools. Cloning tools. So now we got that. Okay, emergency drain cleaning product category. Um, this is a service, right? Uh, let's say you could do fixed price, price range, product price range. Okay, forty nine ninety nine um, drain cleaning service. Right. Oops, forty nine ninety nine. Right. We will obviously you know uh, every industry into, uh, is different so you want uh, let's say you had uh, a spa a medical spa so you would actually highlight every kind of uh, product that they have whether it's juvederm or uh, facial cleansing whatever you have to do you're gonna have to uh, basically 
put the uh, product very descriptive uh, product um, description in there, right? So basically, we provide um, we provide drain cleaning. button so we could be okay you know what um, you, uh, you can order them online or they could buy it or get an offer or learn more right so if you would learn more you could, you could make it a, a click a button to direct it to your website or wherever like let's say you are an e-com store and you had a, a product over here um, you know uh, you could just send them out right to your checkout button great okay so that's that so we could add categories let's go back to the home page Right, so that's products. This is services. You could add services, right? Um, so this is all the services. The more all the services you provide. So we're going to be a fine and repair leak, install faucet. Uh, yeah, we are a plumber. You could install a garbage disposal, install showers. We could do this. We could do that. Right. So basically, you want to tag anything and everything that you do, and then if they have, uh, don't be a subscriber. Create your own. So we could do, um, let's say. Uh, we do your, you know, your gas plumber, right? So you could do, we could do gas, um, gas plumbing apply, right? So there's different kinds of plumbers, obviously. So you know, the more you know, the more you know about their industry, um, and then you could do air conditioning repair services. So you could be like, okay, you know what? We do um, the, we do the cleaning of it. We do the clean ducts. Right, so these are keywords that you're trying to target, right? So the more, again, Google is one of those people that have like, uh, one of those uh, um, uh, companies with the word, the more information you provide them, the more they'll do better for you, right? So you get ranked higher and faster and quicker. Um, okay, so amenities, right? We go to amenities. You could add, um, like let's say you have, a, again, like, a, uh, like if you wanted to do a Zoom call for, with them, you could always, you know, that's what we could do, right? Um, highlights over, you know, um, you know, we're family friendly or right, veteran led or woman led, or you could do that. Service option, online estimates, you do give online estimates, right? Um, veteran led, woman led, okay, online scheduling, amenities, boom, apply. Whatever uh, uh, fits the, the business, uh, the client that you're trying to. Um, attract and the customer that they're trying to attract right so add business description so it says 750 words what we could do is basically um, go here right um, control copy this this is um, oh no okay what are we doing again hold on give me a second what are we, okay write a brief description about your business of your business This is a bit about, copy that, put that here, no. right, uh, perfect, apply that there, and if you're setting it up for a client, uh, add opening date, like what date you opened, um, obviously the more information you give them, the better it is, so let's say we opened up uh, 05, 20, oops, okay, this is um, 22.05 May, uh, 2000, and, right. okay, um, 2002, May 22nd. Let's say okay so that's apply that well okay now once you have uh, integrated all this information then and your and once the business is verified right you'll have something called insights right your listing is uh, right so that basically will give you an analytics score like it give you analytics of uh, basically of what uh, your business is uh, and how it's uh, what you call it uh, how it's doing versus online. So I could just show you an example of, uh, um, I'm gonna show you an example. Hopefully I could uh, do it. Give me one second. So 
Okay, so this is the one that we were working on right now. We're pending verification. This is the one I was uh, playing around with before I came on live and doing it here. So, okay, so this is a current client of mine, right? Um, on this one, so I had to switch them over so I could show you guys uh, what this is, basically. Once you're in here, right, it'll give you insights, right? Um, again, so you see this, the performance, 1.1,000 views, 771 searches, all right, it's a total activity. So we put a post for them, right? Um, you wanna put a post, so, so you get 95 views, and then you get the info, we, uh, info, so we list our timings here, right? We're on Google Maps, right? Um, and this is what I was talking about, this is the insights, right? And you basically want to, target all these keywords, aesthetic, spa, medical spa. And you're not, remember, these 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 keywords, you're not paying for these. This is a free service, basically. And uh, Google My Business Optimizer helps you attract those kind of clients, right? So let's say um, you wanted to create a report to give, uh, to give to a person that, you know, seems like a prospect, and you could create a report, right? And just send them a link and you'd be like, hey, this is, this is what's wrong with your website. This is what needs to be fixed. And um, we could uh, basically, this you need 360 degree views, you need payment. If you take if you take payments, we're gonna take payments online for you. We're gonna uh, monitor your reviews, you know, and um, obviously, you know, how we'll teach you how to get basically attract more positive reviews, more feedback, and um, better rankings, and that's what basically we do. Okay, so but going back to this, Right, uh, this is again uh, the client that I'm working with, right? Um, uh, this is this is the keywords that we're targeting and we can always switch that up. So in the past month, uh, during the pandemic, right, uh, people were still looking for us, see, see if we were open or not. This is May 6th, which was, and today's the 21st, right? So this was a couple of days ago, this thing on search, people are still looking for us and uh, for, this, uh, for this client, right? And there's still people calling and visits, you know. Uh, two people actually requested direction, three people actually called us. So this is the kind of information that you would get from uh, uh, Google My Business. Um, then obviously this client um, is in the medical industry, you know. Um, she gets some uh, reviews, some, some of them, some clients are good, some clients are bad. Again, you know, um, this, is also, this is a service-based industry and you can't please everybody. Um, and then you can think it out so the, uh, the more options you have, you want to keep high-end images in your photos for your clients and or for yourself, right? So this is a 360 degree view, right? So uh, Google does this, right? But uh, now Google is basically, what they want you to do is take a, 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 an interior, an exterior, uh, whatchamacallit, interior and exterior 360 uh, interviews, right? Um, and you have to basically, uh, that would be a, uh, you, you would tell your client that, that that's what they need to do and either they should go out and uh, get it done or you know hire somebody to do it. Um, so uh, once you do all that, you can also add, integrate uh, booking and booking schedules. So like this client, you know, they can make appointments and then, um, with uh, multiple third-party integrations. Um, they could uh, make multiple, what you call it, integrations. Uh, this is the product. Uh, we don't sell any products, they have services. So let's see what the services are. Okay, so we have the facials we could do. We could add facials. Right. Um, health spa, day spa, you know, so basically all these are. Now, uh, yeah, we are going back to the website. We could create a, a generic website, um, not a generic website, actually a decent website for a client as an add-on if you wanted to, right? Um, for an agency, you could see. This is the website they have. Um, you could do build within, within uh, uh, Google My Business and give them um, a website like this, so it'd be their business name dot business dot site. So they can, it's uh, relatively basically, it'll be a one page website where they can uh, get the contact information, the address, the business hours, right? And at least you'll have a platform where you can direct 
the uh, customers to find out that are inquiring more about uh, your services without uh, basically in one stop, you know. So we would upload the, basically the images, the digital assets that the client gives, and we would go ahead and do that. Um, now, back to what you would call it, uh, the GMB um, optimizer, right? So these are the reports. The best thing I like about this is that uh, you could create uh, reports, right, for your clients. So let's go back to, uh, let's do the Elmont one, right? Uh, where is it? Elmont Plumbing and Heating Construction, right? So this is the, uh, L, um, so the client, the business name. Plumbing. Oops. Construction. Um, we could uh, input a logo URL. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Um, So we, uh, that logo, the, of course, is, it would show up here. So you would actually, uh, this is creating the report. So this would be telling the, the, the client exactly what's wrong with their um, um, Google My Business profile. So the NAP where is uh, confirmed, okay, it says it's confirmed, it's claimed. Um, your category is teams correct. You don't have any business hours, so we would uh, go ahead in the um, uh, Google My Business, we would change that. Um, it says that you presently have no, zero images, so we would add more images to them, right? And we want to add highly uh, high images, right? High quality images. So once we create high quality images, that would be right here. Um, we want to upload, <coughs> excuse me. Um, where were we? Uh, right here. Let me go back out, right? This is the clients, so uh, I don't want to stick in that. In that uh, Right, so we'll keep uh, back to um, on topic with the Elmont plumbing and heating, right? So we're gonna go here. It says uh, photos, right? Um, we wanna put, uh, you wanna put all this information and in. you wanna put your logo over here, okay? So your logo, your images, you wanna put your cover, right? That would be like a Facebook cover. If you have videos of your business, if you have like promotional videos, uh, you wanna do interior pictures of your business. Um, so we uploaded this image. Make sure they're high quality images, right? You want to create a high quality image. You don't want to, uh, you know, basically. And then the customers, you ask the customers to um, add images of yourself as well, you know? So take a uh, image, you know, um, to have the customer, uh, obviously all customers and clients, they come in there, they'll, you know, if you do a good service, they're always gonna, you know, take pictures and, uh, if you provide them a service that's actually really good, they'll rant and rave, uh, you know, rave about you. They will talk to you about your friends, and that's what you want to do. You want to create more business through that. Um, the more, then you could add videos, interior, exterior, right, at work, and everything would be basically, you want to have, if you have a team, you can put your team pictures up there, identity, right? Again, logo and covers are very, very, very important. You want to make sure you have a good logo and a good cover image. Um, and uh, give you a tip, you go to canva.com. If you do not have a cover photo, you can always uh, uh, play around over there and um, get that going. All right, so back to the um, back to the report you see right here. Um, okay, this is the one that we did previously, right? So now, um, so this is the report, okay? So you got the images quality, you got 360 degree view. Again, we, we went over that, that's the 360. So you really want to enter your 360 degree images that so we could fix that uh, make sure the description right we did that for this client Alma plumbing we went over here and uh, did that so uh, and payment right so once you get verified you can also uh, put your payment information in there just like how we did with the booking apps 
right? You could uh, integrate Square, you could integrate uh, Stripe, I believe, and a couple other uh, um, integrations um, uh, for taking payment via through your Google My Business page. Um, okay, um, that's that. And uh, reviews, obviously, you know, you want to... Um, Right, uh, basically, uh, reviews is also another one of those things that you always want to keep an open line of communication between your clients and, uh, well, your clients and their customers, and between your client and their customers. Um, so basically, you know, if uh, they give you a, a positive review, you always want to thank them for the positive review. And um, the more you have of those, is obviously more engagement you want to do um, uh, back and forth between uh, client and customer would be a very uh, beneficial way to also get your uh, ranking up there because you want to be engaged. You want to show people that you are you know, making an effort to uh, using their platform. So they will rank you higher once you start using their platform. Um, all right, schema. Schema is one of those things that we already talked about over here. I believe it was uh, where you can add uh, much more, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, terms. Right, that would be, remember we went over this, uh, where was it? Uh, in Insights, I believe it was. Okay, so it was in the, um, no. That's the one where we were talking about where we offer uh, multiple keywords. Yeah, so this is it right here. You wanna make sure that this is there. You wanna do as much as across the board as we can, right? So you do gas plumbing, unclogged drain. Um, so we do, eight, uh, we do clean ducts. You would do heating maintenance. These are keywords for that uh, SEO is looking for. So you wanna make sure you have as much of these uh, installed in there, plugged in. We do heating maintenance because they do plumbing and heating, construction, right? So they do HVAC maintenance, they probably install ACs, um, install heating system, they probably do install duct and vents, install thermostat, repair and condition. Okay, so let's just click all of these because let's assume they do all of these too because it's an Elmont plumbing and heating company, right? So usually plumbers and uh, these guys, they actually do both. So they're like, um, if they do heating, they're doing plumbing, and if they're doing plumbing, they're doing heating, and uh, vice versa. And if they're doing heating, they're probably doing air conditioning as well. So that's these are the, that's the schema maps, right? So basically, your SEO keywords would be there, so you would get ranked higher. So now you're targeting um, uh, different uh, niches within an industry and facts. Um, again, open line of communication, frequently asked questions. Um, what you want to do is, uh, is it frequently asked, uh, um, are you guys open 24 hours, right? Yes, we are open 24 hours. You want to keep that as a, a FAQ um, right here. Um, you ask basically the, the frequently asked questions, you basically type those out and you give and you supply the answers to them in, in right here. And one of these, where are they? Yeah, so like I think it says, right, the customers message you, um, get full access. I mean, I would have to verify this business to see it says complete listing, right? Um, it gives you a checklist of what you need to do. You want to add a logo, right? So you would add a logo, and uh, let's uh, let's do that now. Let's see if we get up. Okay, um, let's add a logo. Let's just go to logo. Okay, um, we're just gonna go click the logo. Um, okay, got a logo. Okay. And we're going to get a nice cover photo. Okay. 
Uh, okay, no. usually do this but we're just gonna do this for right now okay so um, and some of these uh, images might be copyrighted but we're just uh, this is only for tutorial purposes only so we're not even gonna go live with this but uh, just uh, putting it out there right so basically we covered that um, I'm going to uh, just add, add those images in there and uh, so right here um, open that oh, that's a lot I mean crap one. Okay, so this we're gonna go like that. Um, that's the logo. Okay. Yep. That's good. Set logo. Boom. Now we get that. Now choose the cover photo. Boom. Boom. Okay. High quality images. Okay, we want high quality images. So now, there you go. Boom. Okay, now these are images there, so you could uh, make a little video over here, and um, you know, promotional video, and interior right there. Boom. Okay, now back to GMB Optimizer. So we basically ran a report, right? Um, we ran a report, uh, targeted a client, uh, built out their uh, Google My Business page, and that. Now this also create create landing pages, create landing pages. Um, okay, so I'm on right. So we're gonna uh, create. Uh, landing page so let's say basically you wanted to email them um, and you wanted to email them and basically uh, instead of uh, you, you wanted to email them the report here you go you know an extremely important message for it's already pre-done for you so it's a, it says an extremely important message for all I'm on plumbing and heating right so you got to click play hi is your Google my business profile Boom. so now you have a landing page for them right already has a Google My Business Profile set up. We're being optimized, boom. That's uh, that's how you get them in. Give us a call, right? All this stuff is customizable within the GMB optimizing um, platform, right? Now we could do an SEO analysis, right? Also create, uh, we're gonna call it, um, uh, let's say, uh, what should we call it? Let's go stick to the topic, right? Mm. This guy, so I probably close it out. construction info right so um, this is his website um, so we're gonna copy this and we're gonna put that in this That's gonna take a few minutes. Another thing is like while that's doing is right. Another thing is the best thing is connect to email. What about this is uh, you could do uh, your Gmail verify verification. Connect to your Gmail to send emails. So once you cut connect your uh, um, you connect to your Gmail account and basically you could send uh, compose uh, emails, right? So they have templates already, uh, built-in templates. So basically, um, what would happen is basically you could uh, uh, send out an email that already has a template. So basically, attracting them into your offer 
of uh, fixing their, optimizing their Google uh, business page. So it, it's all done within this app. It's, it's uh, amazing. It just basically goes in and you can shoot it out uh, through uh, your Gmail account from here. Um, so you go to Compose Mail. Um, where is it? And that would be done right there. So this is uh, Google My Business Optimizer. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just reach out and let us know. All right? Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.